All right, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, just to finish up the story on the, the last video, it's that uh, the, they they built the reinfor they built the walls like reinforced so that literally anyone who got trapped between them would definitely be dead. Like, literally crushed to dead. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. No, it's a terrible idea. And then, it, it's like, they fucking, why would you build walls that rotate to begin with? I know you're Disney and you want to do everything magic, but, like, that's a terrible idea. But, like, after her death and after they won the court kiss, then they changed it so that the walls were breakaway so that it wouldn't happen again. But it wasn't their fault. They only acknowledged that it was their fault by changing it so that it wouldn't happen again, but it wasn't their fault. Didn't lose the court case. Fuck you, Disney. What I love is because they didn't they didn't lose the court case. Yeah. They weren't in the wrong. Yeah, they but weren't in the wrong, they but then they went they and changed wrong. it. Because they knew they were wrong. <laughs> but you know, you can't like you say you're you're all about family something blah 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 family crap. But like then you do shit like you, yeah. I'm trying to word, playing wording is hard. I know. I um, know but then you do shit like, oh, we won, no compensation though. Yeah. And it's just like, they lost their daughter. Yeah, literally murdered. <laughs> Nothing says family friendly like a fucking 19 year old that was cut in half, right? Yeah. Fucking sounds good to me. <laughs> you just love it. Oh, I do, it's so great. It's like the same people now with their, uh, they had their, like, I, I talked about this a couple episodes ago, but they had their, uh, skyline, essentially. I think I remember you they, telling me it, it crashed, and, like, well, everyone got left. stuck up there for, like, three hours, and no one died, but there were some injuries. Slight, like, small injuries, it wasn't a big deal. But still. But, like, there's people that are just like, oh, well, it wasn't Disney's fault. It's like, it's, if it's in their park, it's their fault. Like, they're supposed to maintain that. Like, <laughs> It's brand fucking new, and they're like, oh, it's the manufacturer's fault. I'm like, yeah, to some extent, I'm sure it is, but now, like, there's new... But you new... should have tested that. It yeah. should be tested every well, day. the irony with that is that there's new information that's come out that either, uh, either the Board of Health and Safety checked it already, or the manufacturer themselves checked and were like, hey, you're gonna need to implement a safety thing, like, in this area to prevent it from happening just in case. And Disney was just like, nah! We're gonna cut costs and not put a safety check in. So it was 100% Disney's fault, and they were told that they need to do it, and then they're like, nah, that's expensive. I know we're Disney, and it costs literally $100 for one ticket a day, not to, not including <laughs> literally anything else. $100 a ticket, Chris. I don't know what fancy world you're living in. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's like... It's a few hundred. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like, I think it's at like a hundred and fucking like eight. Hundred and seventy, I think. Hundred and seventy? I was like, okay, it's a little less than I thought. I was like, I thought it was at like a hundred and eighty already, and I'm like, this is like, it's ridiculous. It might be more than that, yeah. but <laughs> I want to say a hundred and seventy. It's like for one day. One fucking day. And that's, that's not including staying in their hotels. Yeah, that's not including hotel costs, drink costs, food costs. And any other, like, knickknacks or things you want to buy, or, even better, fucking, like, if you want, like, a fast pass, that's, like, another 200 bucks or some shit, like... Oh, in all fairness, if you're going to Disneyland, though, fucking, you just, you should buy the fast pass, because you'll never ride anything there. The lines are so fucking long that you'll ride, like, two lines for your $200 and then never fucking get on anything else. But those two rides were worth that hundred dollars, right? Yeah, dude, I love sitting in a slow box that moves at five miles an hour as I look at Snow White being raped by the Seven Dwarfs. It was one of my favorite rides! <laughs> Topical. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. But, uh... I just, I'm just saying, man, for 180 bucks, you can go to fucking Universal Studios almost two times. Almost twice, and ride way better rides. So, you know, remember that thing you were just saying about how <laughs> it doesn't make sense for blah blah, the, the uh, security checks? Yes. That's why places with elevators, uh, so the mall, mm -hmm. you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah. The one that has... It the, has one a, that, the one that they're going to shut down in like a year, yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> 100%. But they have, a, they have a thing on the second, on the bottom floor. Yo. But there's nothing there because it costs more money to maintain that elevator mm -hmm. than they want, so they just don't put anything in there. Yeah, we we have a we have a mall that has both an escalator and an elevator that are both, I believe, out of order and will True. never be back in order because it costs too, it much costs too much money to get them fixed and certified as safe. 
So they just permanently closed the basement area of our mall. Did I ever tell you my girlfriend has an elevator in her house? Yes, you have brought okay. this up. And my response, I think, was how fucking rich is your girlfriend? <laughs> um, family owns a propane company. So pretty fucking rich, then. They worked for their money. I mean, working for your money and being rich are two totally separate things. Oh, I'm 100%. <laughs> You can you can still be rich and have worked for your money. Is if you can <laughs> be she, rich and not work for your money. But she told me that it one time when I first like got to know her. She told me that and I was just like, what? Yeah. You got a fucking elevator in your house, dude. In all fairness, that would be like my first thing I would put into my house if I had like a stupid amount of money to blow on whatever. I the first thing I would put in that house is an unnecessary elevator. <laughs> but I'm like, what? I've, I've ridden in a, at this point, and mm. it's just like, this is a tiny-ass elevator, but still, it's an elevator in your house. It's a cool... It, it's a, it is a cool idea, though. Just be like, I'm just gonna put an elevator right here. Right here. I don't it's, even care. It's for herself and her grandfather. It, I mean, it but makes like, sense at the same if you time, had, like... just like, see, an elevator in your house, girl. See, it makes sense to me if you had, like, a wheelchair or someone. <laughs> yeah. Like, had a wheelchair. It's basically for that, too. But, like... Anything past that is like, and even then, you know, you could just do more reasonable things, like get one of those get a stair, different house. <laughs> yeah, like get, you just get like one of those stair ride chairs. Those work too. <laughs> it's... Or you could just be a badass and fucking go up your stairs in the wheelchair. Fucking. <laughs> oh my god. You seen those? Uh, have you ever seen one of those wheelchairs that like, climb stairs? Actually, the like the so. ones that like auto level up like. Stairs. Dude, they're fucking intense. Those are cool. I, if as a wheelchair user though, if I or if I was a wheelchair user, I should say, I would definitely be like, this no. is sketchy as shit. Like I don't feel good about any of this. Like <laughs> I don't even like a wheelchair to begin with. <laughs> right? Well, because it, like it tilts a lot to like get up that stair. It's like at least like at least like ten degrees back at least. So I'd be like, this is sketchy. I don't like that I'm leaning like nine degrees back here and I'll like get up one step. And it's gonna do this for like 50 steps. Like, <laughs> like I'd be super concerned. I mean, we never said it was the greatest. Right. Hey, I mean, whatever works. Yeah. Me personally, I'm waiting for the cyberpunk era where they're just like, Need legs? Let us implant some cyber-ass legs into you. Now you can run faster than the fastest man alive. GG. Dude, do you remember the, uh, <laughs> did you see that thing? It was, um, a guy with no legs got yeah, a yeah. really good record in, like, a sprint. Yeah, yeah. And they were and like, they like, he has yeah. an unfair advantage. He, has an he unfair doesn't have fucking legs! <laughs> it's like my favorite, a uh, stand-up comedian did my favorite fucking joke for that, and he's just like, is a poor, poor little tink tink. That's the sound he makes when he runs and tink 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 tink. He's just paw paw little tink tink. Goes through all the hassle building these special robot legs to run. And then once he wins the race, they kick it away from him for having an unfair advantage. Ah, paw paw little tink tink. When I first saw that, I was just like, are you shitting me? In all fairness, I do I get, get it. where they're coming from. I get from it. Because but at the same time. Yeah. It's, it is one of those things that's just like, man, I always like thinking of that now whenever I'm just like, man, you think you're having a bad day? Just remember poor little Tang Tang. <laughs> his legs taken away from him, basically. And his world record. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I, d I do get the idea of that, because they, um, they had the same thing with uh, in football. There was this guy who kicked the world's, or for a long time, he had the world record for longest field goal kick. Yeah. Um... And they were just like, this shouldn't count because he, he was missing his toes. So his foot was essentially flat right at the end of it. Yeah. So he was able to kick the ball with a perfectly flat foot. Like, which, forward instead of at an angle. Which, I can see why so people would be like, blah blah. People were like, yeah, like, we kind of need to change this. And they, they did end up changing it. Um, so that you couldn't do that in the NFL. Uh... What the fuck May is going I on? My daughter, Rizema, and Anastasia. As I feel, They're looking for who fit, fits the gold. Oh, okay. I was like, this is a weird cutscene. Oh my god, she's just decided to murder all of them. <laughs> it's dangerous to fight the darkness with the light, my dear. What? What is that? What? What? <laughs> Cinderella's very godmother. I appeal to those who believe that dreams come true. 
Then I'm honored. But Explain to her why! Not to fight darkness with light. Why though? Some create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that are to <laughs> That doesn't explain. <laughs> Her ex her explanation is that sunlight creates shadows. That does not explain yep. why it's dangerous, though. Yep. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone and take this. Take this. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be a great day. I I, I can do that. <laughs> you know what I love about this? <laughs> yeah. I know how crappy some of the writing in this game is. But you don't. Yeah, no. This is this is all new territory for me. I've never I've never watched any Kingdom Hearts game. I think I have to talk to her. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Where the fuck was I before that? I don't even remember now. Uh, f uh Flatfoot. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so they like they eventually were just like, yeah, you, you. They they eventually were just like, yeah, you can't do this anymore. And the guy went to the the. At the time, head of the NFL, and was just like, "Yo, Yo uh, I'm really fucking upset about this. You can't take my world record away, and if you do, I'm fucking suing the hell out of you." And the the owner of the NFL just walked over. According to the story, the owner of the NFL walked over to him, put his hand on his shoulder, and went, "Don't worry about it, man. Your grandfather did." <laughs> Which is kind of cool, actually. I love that. Yeah. Are you Dude, okay, every time she says something like that and summons her Keyblade, it seems like she's just gonna murder them to me. <laughs> does yeah. it not feel like yeah. that? No, it's 100% always oh, okay. like that with every character. Dude, like, every time, I'm just like, why do they do it this way? It just feels like they're gonna murder people Dude, every time. Chris, Chris, you're gonna get really excited when we get to Rule 34 Aqua. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna be super into it. We're not gonna get there for probably the next year, but... <laughs> but it's just... Like, you get what I mean, right? Like, it 100%. always gives the... Like, nothing says, I'm here to be the good guy, like, immediately being like, don't worry. Pulling pulls out handgun. I'm here to help you. It's like, no! <laughs> so, you always give off the impression that they're gonna do something bad. Don't write cutscenes like that. This is bad storytelling, Derek. Chris, ah! <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I love? Yeah. I've come to the conclusion that this franchise is gonna be the next Yakuza for us. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is. But isn't the it? good part is, it's not the same game. Yeah, every time. <laughs> but it's gonna be a lot of that. It's kind of a good game because there's a lot of times where you can just kind of talk about anything for a while because there's not a lot of things happening. <laughs> I I like how the game plays. I'll say that. Well, I feel like that that's kind of what I've come to the conclusion of, which is that people must just like these games because they play really well. Because it's definitely not the story. Like the story is really bad. <laughs> Like, the story's bad, the writing is... Mm, mm, mm. But I think people like it because character design is really solid and, like, gameplay is really good. Cinderella! Cinderella, Cinderella, all I Cinderella, need is Cinderella! Cinderella! Yo, go on. The full cover of that and that voice would have been so sick. <laughs> like, can I could die. <laughs> Derek, fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon! <laughs> I was I was really hoping you'd go for like the actual trying to sing it, but I'm almost happier you went with not. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to pee after this. <laughs> oh boy. Well you picked a bad time because you got like ten minutes to hold Oh I know! <laughs> I know. I don't remember if I changed the episode number for I this. I don't remember recording. either. I just had a moment where I'm like, uh oh. I, th no! I think I did. I think I did though. I think we're good. I don't remember. <laughs> this is a great game. Great game. These are all great games. It's a lot. Yes. And it's just like, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're the only ladies here. There's no one else. <laughs> Tiny little fucking Aqua. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Are you the only ladies here? And they're just like, yep, we're the only ones here. And Aqua's like, I feel offended. 
Oh no. You want to know what would be so much better? What? Is if like, Aqua ended up having a- oh, oh god, she got big? I was unexpecting this. Is she gonna have to wear the ruby slipper? I don't remember. It, if, dude, I swear to god, if she wears the glass slipper and it fits her perfectly, you're gonna lose it. And like, I'm just gonna, I'm legit gonna go into a moment of like, they're fucking up the time space continuum, man! <laughs> Stop this. I don't know how I feel about this. In some regards, this is amazing, and in other regards, this is cringe. I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? I don't know how I feel about this, Derek. <laughs> the truest fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good question. <laughs> She's here to rob us. I like that Aqua's just like, I'm just not gonna respond to this until you give me the fucking slipper. I believe we're finished here, your grief. You can't prove that. <laughs> Especially if she summons her Cleveland. <laughs> Jack, hurry. I fucking always hated Your this cutscene. Please wait. May I try it on? <gasps> and she's like, no, Aqua must try it on first. That's the way the rules work! <laughs> yep, then she'll try it on next. <laughs> What does that even mean? My altars are every maiden! <laughs> oh, she's just an imaginary child. What, like a mirage? You really gonna try and convince this man that she's a mirage? <laughs> I still think Aqua should have been forced to try this on first. Because, again, every maiden. I don't know why he changed his mind all of a sudden for Cinderella, but not the other one. Oh. Wow. But, but you're gonna love this. What will I do? That's really fucked up. You're gonna love this, right? Please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. <gasps> Was that in the original movie, actually? I, I don't, don't remember. remember. Yeah, I think I, so. I, like, but I fucking loved that. I love that it's like, don't worry, I have the other slipper, and he's just like, well, that's kind of proof enough, but I gotta put it on to make sure. <laughs> oh my fucking god. So I remember stumbling upon, um, <sighs> I was on that side of the internet, oh, and it God. was, uh, a hentai, mm -hmm. and it was, she becomes the queen, and then does weird shit to the history. <laughs> Why would you ever read that, Derek? I can't believe you would ever do something so unbelievable. You're gonna have to send me that link later. <laughs> it's lost to the end of time. No! Chris, <laughs> this was probably like oh, around yeah, no. when I met you. Dude, no, I I get you. I can't tell you how many fucking things I've read and been like, this is amazing, and now it's gone forever. Yep. Like I have no idea if it even really existed. <laughs> like that, uh, there was one you told me about and showed me, and I was just like, what? <laughs> there's what? one that will stick in my head to the end of time. You know what? If anyone watches this video. I honestly, I, I'm dead serious. If anyone watches this video, please leave it in the fucking comments because I I read it. It had to have been fucking like eight fucking years ago. That was the same with me on the and, other one. And like, but if anyone fucking like knows of it, I was reading this one. It was pretty fucking. I remember it being pretty fucking long. So uh, just so you yeah. know, this is all weird because it's just like you summon this evil thing because blah, and then she it kills. Him. I was gonna say that's just straight murder though. <laughs> What the fuck? Yep. This is a little hardcore for this, well, this, this is rated E oh E ten plus, we're good. Murder's fine this, in E10. This boss is annoying. <laughs> because you're so low level, it's like annoying. And you don't have a heal yet? I just Fantasy violence, mild blood, mild language, and use really of alcohol. Blood. There's use of alcohol in this? Yes. <laughs> I don't remember right, which one. I'm gonna one I'm gonna does. assume Dumbo. Uh I remember. So anyways. Okay, so, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, no, seriously, if anyone knows of this, please write it in the comments. There was this fucking one, I didn't read the whole thing, because I remember it was, like, super long, so I just, like, skimmed through, like, pages. But I remember distinctly, it was a girl, she was standing on the edge of a rooftop of her school, and had the cage behind her, and she was contemplating jumping to her death. But she decided not to jump to her death. Because she got, like, a phone call or something. Or maybe she was still contemplating it, I'm not sure. But she drops her flip phone. Keep in mind, it was a flip phone, so you know it was old. And, like, 
She dropped her flip phone, and it bounced off the edge of the roof and fell off the building, and because she was really smart, she went to go and grab it. <laughs> and she ended up falling, and it has, like, this long shot of her just being like, Uh-oh! <laughs> I can't believe I did that! That was really stupid! And now she's falling, keep in mind, head first to the pavement, and she's just like, Well, well, that's a thing that happened! That's <laughs> GG for me, boys! And then it, like, fucking does a pan shot. Like, this isn't animated, but comic-wise, it's like a, a camera turn shot as someone else is now falling head first next to her. And he's just like, did you really think you could die that easily without fucking me, essentially? And she's like, what? And then it hard cuts to them fucking in bed. I think I've read that and then one. It, and then it goes with them one? fucking for a while. And then the next shot is like... A fortune teller being like, this is your future or some shit? And I'm like, what the fuck am I reading? This is amazing! And I totally forgot. I think I remember the, it. Yeah, I like, think I've read it. Like, I know people must have read it because it's insane. Like, there's no way you can forget that. Like, bitty bobbity boo. So, yeah, if anyone comes across this video and fucking hear, get, watches far enough to see this rat and knows what the fuck it is, please put it in the fucking... Uh, comment section below. I've been trying to figure out what the fuck it was for years You're now. You're too young to know about how fucking the world works and, like, blah. Uh, I fucking hate it. Isn't Aqua, like... She's the oldest, I, I think. Isn't she, like, 21 or some shit? No, this? I think they're all supposed to be in their teens. Isn't she, like, 19? <laughs> probably, and Terra's probably, like, 19, um, and Ven's probably, like, 16. I think Terra is 18. I don't remember. I, I think. I think she's 18. I, all I know is that I looked it up because I was like, is she legal? She's totally legal. <laughs> so I know she's at least 18. Or, or she might have been 17, and in which case I went, well, she's close enough to legal in this state, so fuck it. <laughs> Our state rule is funny. Oh my god, it's so fucking weird. Yeah, it's like a super weird rule. Because, you know, Derek, 16 is legal, kind of, sort of, within certain circumstances. Depending on the phases of the moon. Yeah, right? At least it's not fucking, uh... At least it's not a lot of the southern... There's a couple southern states that have the weirdest fucking rule I've ever heard in my life, which is... Um... The legal age is, like, 18 or 16 or something in, that, in the state. I also can't remember exactly which state it is. I just remember it's, like, a southern state. Because, Aww. of course, it is. And, uh, but there's, like, a rule that's just, like, it's illegal, it, 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 they can't be the age, they're not the age of consent until 18. However, if you get them pregnant, and a judge agrees that you can marry them, then it's totally legal. They could be fucking 12. And if a judge, if they're pregnant, well, I guess you can't be 12 if pr pregnant at 12, uh, you unless can. you're very... Unlucky. No, unless sometimes. you're very unlucky, because the average is seven. Uh, no, uh, fourteen. But yeah, I don't remember uh, what the uh, what the age of the people having their first periods is, because as soon as you have your first it's the period, it's the on it. average it is fourteen. I actually have, I actually do know all this because I have multiple siblings. But uh, it's it's fourteen on average. However, it can be a lot younger. It can also be much later though, which okay. is weird. So Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna watch uh, the intro cutscene and then end the episode. Fair enough. That, that stare, though. I like that. Okay, can we all just agree that Snow White is the stupidest fucking Disney princess out of all of them? Because she's literally given an apple by creepy looking old lady and she's just like, yeah, alright. I'll just fucking eat that. <laughs> Makes no sense. To me. <laughs> Like, literally, she's just like, eat the apple! Eat it! I don't want to. <laughs> and she's just like, no! And she's like, you must eat the apple! And then and they she's put like, her in a right. fucking glass coffin, because, you know... What has happened here? Well, you don't need air, Derek. So, <laughs> your glass right. coffin. So, I told you about how, um... In Magic the Gathering, you can only have four of one type of card in, in mm -hmm. a deck, right? Mm -hmm. 
They released a card recently yeah, that was called the Seven Dwarves, and you can have seven in them. And they get stronger for each dwarf you have on the field, and I'm like, that's neat. That is neat. That's stupid, but neat. <laughs> Don't lie to me. About falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> right on the tip of- nope. Nope, she's not gonna like finish that. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen? <laughs> That's why I'm Fucking... going to take this key oh, like... man. Okay. Like, is it just me or is Aqua's voice actor just like the most monotone oh my human God, being yeah. on the planet? And at the same time, it somehow just works, doesn't it? Oh it just my God, yeah. works for her. It's just like, what? Well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but That's why we her. put her in this glass box. Isn't there some way we can help her? <laughs> no, that's why we put her in the glass box. <laughs> I'll brief the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. I'm not afraid of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. Right. Angry strikes me as a man that would say he's going, but then would just go to a strip club. And <laughs> not actually go. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. You know, you never think about it because they're always wearing hats, but man, they're all like super bald. Yep. Yeah. Hi ho! Hi ho! <laughs> hi ho! We're off to work we go. <laughs> All right, we got in the episode. Copyright. <laughs> we'll see you. Uh, next time. We'll see you later. See you later. Peace. <laughs>